Today we are chasing rainbows on the west coast of Scotland. A showery day is the best type of weather for rainbows, but the sun needs to be low in the sky, so perhaps early morning or later in the day, or indeed most of the time during the winter months. Now you're going to have to get wet at this game because the larger the raindrops, the stronger the colours. And incidentally, when you get a second rainbow, the colours, the order of the colours is reversed. A bit of folklore about rainbows. I'm sure you are familiar with the leprechaun and the pot of gold at the bottom of the rainbow. But did you know that in the 13th century it was believed that if you passed underneath a rainbow you will change sex? And I'll leave that to your imagination. Here's the camera information. Notice that on this occasion, travelling around Scotland, I was using the budget entry camera into the OMD, the Olympus OMD system, the EM10. But for a bit of more flexibility, I'm using the 14 to 150 lens. Now I spot meter near a highlight. I'm on aperture priority, so I can use F8 for the best quality, along with keeping the ISO at 200. And in lighting like this, there is no point whatsoever in increasing the uh, ISO. Although I have the white balance on daylight, this is something I will adjust in Adobe Lightroom, which, when I get home, is the next stage. Back at home, we come to the post-production stage and I'm using Adobe Lightroom. And I don't think I need to do too much to the image. Nevertheless, I'm going to change the camera profile to landscape as it gives the colors a little bit more punch. And also at this stage, I will play around with the white balance and I've increased the exposure just a little bit and also I've increased the contrast, but not too much. To tame the highlights, I take the whites and highlights right down, and then, not too much, I add a little bit of clarity, vibrance, and I don't normally do saturation, but I have done so on this occasion. Finally, I've straightened the image. It was going down a little bit to the right. And now we are ready for importing into Adobe Photoshop, where I will continue with any adjustments which I can't do in Lightroom. And that really is about it. And here you have the picture, the final picture, a JPEG image of the shot I took in Scotland.